Good evening and welcome to World Talks on TVP World. I'm your host, Diana Skaya. Germany is shifting its stance on immigration. Now, following a knife attack and electoral gains made by a far-right party, now the German Ministry of Interior announced the reintroduction of controls on all land borders for six months beginning this upcoming Monday, September 16th. Now, with the possibility of renewal, now, the German government informed the European Commission about this, and Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk considered Berlin's new announcement as unacceptable. Critics have also been complaining that the decision will prove to be a real blow to Europe's prized principle of free movement and could severely test EU unity. Now, the European Commission is analyzing the justification for this decision. Now, border controls between Germany and Poland, let's be reminded, have already been in force since October 2023. Now, joining me in studio to break it down for us is director and chief editor of TVP World, Mr. Michal Bronatowski. Uh, director, it's so uh, good to have you here with us this evening. Thank you so much for being our Thank guest. Thank you for inviting me. Very, very happy to, to, to have you on here. Now, Mr. Bronatowski, Germany has reinstated these border checks uh, with Poland uh, already uh, almost over a year ago, and they are state, uh, slated to stay, uh, from what we know, uh, to remain in force until at least December, due to concerns, of course, over illegal, uh, illegal migration. Now, how does this actually align uh, with the principles of the Schengen Agreement, and what exceptions, if any, uh, can you say are being uh, invoked? Well, uh, Schengen Accord includes uh, a provision for a possible uh, and uh, temporary suspension of uh, free transfer uh, over the border, and uh, Article 25. In case of special situation, uh, catastrophe or something like that, uh, it can be, as I said, only temporary, but as we see, it can be also extended. Poland and three other countries in, uh, in our neighborhood, which is Czechia, Austria and Switzerland, of all other places, <laughs> uh, are also experiences, uh, experiencing already now uh, the uh, border controls, but they are uh, not for everybody. There are uh, random controls. We're talking about uh, authorities being able to, to just, what, check their cars, ask exactly. for passports. Exactly, well, but not everybody, but queues are, are uh, getting created nevertheless. So uh, we don't know what are the uh, plans of the German side uh, that they are going to implement on Monday, because they may, uh, we, we, it's not public yet, what are their plans, there may be strict controls for everybody, plus they are introducing controls for five countries in the western part of Europe, uh, which is uh, France, Benelux countries and Denmark. Uh, and all these countries are already uh, uh, reacting very nervously to that, uh, to that measure because there are lots of people living on one side of the border and working on the other side. And it may be simply disrupting their lives. Not to mention the painful fact that, you know, the country which is in the very middle of the European Union is, uh, if not closing, at least making their borders more difficult to cross, uh, is doing it and uh, it is doing it uh, without an obvious international reason, I would say. Um, so, but Poland has also been actually quite vocal about strengthening its border security as well, right? Also particularly with the, uh, with uh, Belarus, uh, with the migrants, with the, with the Syrian migrants that were supposed to cross through. Now, can you explain Poland's specific proposals and how they actually might impact uh, this relationship with neighboring EU countries? You mean the, the action by Germany? Yes. Well, as I said, it's a very big problem for, for people who live at the border. Uh, but in general, since we don't know what, what are they going to implement on, on Monday, we, we should uh, expect the worst. And, uh, you know, this is destroying the main achievement of, uh, uh, of European Union, which is the Schengen 
uh, accord. Uh, for me, you know, after uh, entering Schengen, Poland entered Schengen before it entered the, the EU. And, uh, you know, until today, this is the main thing. You can just uh, pack your things up and, and, and travel to anywhere in, in, in Europe. And this is exactly against the, you know, what the European Union stands for, the uh, freedom of, 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 of movement. Uh, uh, plus, uh, as I already said, it, it, there's no obvious reason uh, for that because there's no indication that the number of, of uh, irregular uh, migrants are entering uh, Europe. There's, in fact, statistics uh, in the first half of this year are lower than uh, the previous year. So we should ex we, we can expect that what's happening is not the situation on borders, the situation of this uh, deluge of, of uh, uh, migrants, but this is uh, the internal domestic situation in Germany, uh, uh, where you already mentioned uh, we had this uh, stabbing attack uh, recently and... Uh, the fear of Islamic extremism, right? Yes, plus, you know, elections. Uh, elections are Coming deciding forward. about everything. Uh, there, were, there were two uh, elections in, in uh, German states, uh, which uh, in one of them in Thuringia, uh, German far-right uh, won these elections, plus the... Uh, uh, left, uh, I, don't, I, wouldn't call, I wouldn't call them extremists, but, but far left party uh, also uh, fared quite, quite, quite well. Um, in, in 10 days we'll have another elections in which, in Brandenburg, and uh, we may expect, well not we, Germans can expect the situation uh, in which again the Aktion für Deutschland will, uh, will uh, will remove SPD from uh, from power, uh, the Socialist Party. So the Socialist Party, together with their two uh, uh, coalition partners, Liberals and the Greens, they decided that it would be good to, uh, from the propaganda point of view, from the, uh, to to calm down uh, uh, the society, which. Uh, for which one of the main concerns is, is so-called flood of, 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 uh, of migrants, but doing the same thing uh, that probably would uh, uh, the um, uh, local governments of, of uh, uh, the three federal states, if they are governed by uh, IFD, they may simply locally impose some blocks for uh, the movement of, 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 of migrants. So they are trying to convince uh, voters that they are protecting their, uh, protecting their uh, lives, their, uh, their jobs and, and, and security. Uh, but as I said, this is, this is just uh, the electoral hysteria and, uh, uh, and we are suffering from it, the rest of Europe. Can you just elaborate a little bit more on that, uh, Mr. Bernatovsky? I mean, you just spoke about uh, also uh, you mentioned domestic, uh, domestic uh, clashes, right? Uh, domestic, um, uh, how this might impact uh, domestic politics. Not let's let, let's just go back to Germany, since Germany is is the one that is you know placing uh, this law in order it coming to effect uh, on Monday. But how do you think, like, if between Poland and Germany, um, could this shake up their future uh, bilateral cooperations? Uh, I don't know, Just but briefly. it, uh, you know, one thing is political um, relations between uh, Warsaw and, and, and Berlin. And, uh, you know, when you hear a prime minister of, of a government, in this case, Mr. Tusk, who says that the move by Berlin is unacceptable, unacceptable. this right. is a, a, a very uh, high level of being unhappy about the moves of, of the neighbor. Uh, so uh, it doesn't bode well for, for the future of Pol uh, Poland, Polish-German uh, uh, relation. The same applies to the rest of uh, uh, countries who will be affected 
uh, only as of uh, um, uh, next Monday, which is the five countries in the west of Europe, which I mentioned. And, uh, uh, but this is not only the political problem, this is also an uh, economic problem. Transportation, uh, queues on the border, uh, you know, trucks uh, queuing because they have to be checked if they That's want right. to make sure that there are no migrants there. And the problem is that it's not the first time that Germany uh, is going against the tide uh, uh, in Europe because... Just briefly, Mr. Bernatowski, because we're, we're, we're running out of time, but... Uh, just, just, I, I want yes. to mention Nord Stream. Uh, uh, which was against the wish of of, Germ of of the rest of Europe, plus you know them saying Russians are, are, are fine, but they were not fine. fine. And so uh, Germans beha Germans behave. <laughs> and very interesting to see how this is going to actually play out uh, in the next six months uh, of the beginning of this new uh, border uh, control law uh, going into effect on the 16th of September this Monday. That was director of TVP and chief editor of TVP World, uh, Mr. Michal Broniatowski. Thank you so much for having been with us here Thank on the World much. Talks this evening. And that